I am joined now by one man who must be very happy that Interpark is finally back. Markus Rusla is with me. Welcome and thank you for being with us today. Um, how does it feel to be back? <laughs> oh, terrific, to be honest. Um, six years has been a long time and we are uh, more than happy to be back in Düsseldorf. Uh, first three days uh, show how well uh, and uh, how, how much we all missed it. Uh, talked to uh, plenty of customers already uh, who are also happy to be back in this beautiful city and this perfect organized uh, show. So, no, all good. Thumbs up. <laughs> you are here in two functions. You are uh, on the one hand CEO of Tegarten Park Tech, and then you are also president of the Interpark. You've already said that the first three days, we are now at day four, have gone very well so far. Can you elaborate a bit more as uh, in your function as president? Have there been like very specific um, happy moments or something that you remember, <laughs> or has it been very stressful? <laughs> well, the uh, I think the uh, the most uh, Wonderful moment is uh, is the uh, Thursday morning, 10 o'clock, when the gates open, and you uh, are waiting at the entrance to your own booth, and then you see the people streaming in, the visitors streaming in, uh, with big eyes and smiles on their face, uh, and you realize, yeah, they're all happy to be back. So um, this has been wonderful. Um, I have had uh, some time to, to uh, chat with uh, a few of the other exhibitors, uh, owners of companies. And um, so far, the feedback is, uh, is really excellent. Everybody is happy to be here. Um, yeah, so let's, let's wait uh, for, the, for the second half time and yeah. um, how this develops, but I'm very, very confident. Sounds good. Um, it's been six years since the last uh, Interpark took place. Do you, have you recognized any changes um, yeah, in the audience maybe or in the overall feeling, atmosphere? Well, first of all, a big change has, of course, been the reorganization of the placement of the uh, different exhibitors. Uh, the uh, uh, broader focus on, on industries, so halls uh, one, three, and four uh, been dedicated to confectionery production, uh, other halls been uh, dedicated to general packaging, pharma, packaging materials. I think this is a big uh, benefit also for visitors uh, because uh, it is much easier for them to focus on uh, what they want to see, uh, where they want to visit, um, so I think this is, uh, is, a, is a good step we did uh, together with the organizing team um, uh, to bring this focus a bit more to the show. And as far as I hear, this is very well received. You are also here in your function as CEO of Tegarten Park Tech with your own company. Tell us a bit more about the importance of this fair for your company. Right. So uh, Tegarten Park Tech is a, is a company um, specialized on uh, wrapping of small sized articles, uh, especially for the uh, confectionery industry, but also a few other industries. We are uh, quite successful in uh, when it comes to uh, wrapping of soup cubes, soup tablets, um, especially in Africa, um, also in the chemical industry, detergent tubs. So everything what is uh, small that has to be wrapped very efficient and very fast. Um, we have been uh, one of the founding companies of Interpac. So my, my grandfather was a founding member of Interpac um, back in the 50s. And uh, we have participated in Tapak uh, ever since. For us, this is the most important show uh, worldwide. Uh, we like the rhythm of um, having it every three years. Um, so it was very, uh, very unpleasant uh, to miss uh, the last in Tapak 2020. Um, and it uh, shows, um, I mean, there's been a lot of discussions uh, um, during COVID if uh, exhibitions will come back after the pandemics. Um, or if everything is shifted to uh, digital. Um, and now I think we can clearly see uh, this will not be the case. Everything which was tried um, might support exhibitions but can't replace them. Um, and I, if, if, you, if, you, if you walk through the halls, I mean, you can easily see the amount of people uh, which uh, made their way to Dusseldorf uh, uh, to see what is on display is, I think, the best proof you can get. It is a very international fair. We have loads of uh, international visitors here, and you already mentioned that you uh, package a lot for the African market. Um, looking again at the visitors you have received at your booth, uh, can you tell us a bit more about where they're coming from and what your audience kind of looks like? Um, um, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to announce uh, that this is really a world, uh, worldwide audience. Uh, we received uh, Customers already from from uh, Japan, Korea, um, uh, Southeast Asia, 
um, Australia and then um, all over Africa, South America, so basically the, really the entire globe. Um, some areas, uh, uh, of course, uh, where it is difficult to travel uh, those days um, are less uh, um, here in, um, in Düsseldorf, but even, uh, to be honest, a good friend and, and customer from Russia uh, has attended the show and has already visited us, so also they are here. Mm -hmm. You already said that we are halfway through Interpark. Uh, this is day four. We still have three days to go. Is there anything you are looking forward to in those um, days that are still coming? Well, seeing even more uh, of our good clients uh, and potential new clients, I hope, of course. That is also a reason why we are here to meet new people to the industry. Um, yeah, and that is, of course, the most important. That's why we are here and, and uh, dedicated all day to receive our visitors. It's all about innovations and tending to trends uh, at this fair as well. Have you seen anything very interesting or any um, trends that are picking up and very important for the industry right now? Well, in general, I would say the, 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 the hot topics um, um, are, as, as, as estimated before Interpac, um, uh, sustainability. You see a lot of um, uh, solutions in different stages um, uh, of, their, of their development phase, uh, which have a, a sustainability focus. If you come to our booth, you see uh, a lot of the machines uh, equipped to uh, wrap paper-based materials, um, which is still at an early stage, I admit, because the materials are still quite expensive. But um, um, we'll see. At least the machines can handle these materials, and if they kick off, uh, we, are, we are prepared. Um, another uh, big topic, um, which you see everywhere, of course, is uh, digitalization. Um, digitalization of, uh, of uh, productions, um, uh, tools uh, to help uh, make your production more efficient. Um, there are quite a number of companies, especially in the uh, confectionery segment, uh, which uh, promote Sweet Connect, which is a new industry platform um, um, focusing on the confectionery industry mainly. Um, and I think they are very good approaches you can see and find here. And honestly, um, speaking, uh, we had a visitor, a, a big corporate from the US. Um, they came uh, to Interpac also with a target to find a digital platform for their production. And then they came to our booth <laughs> and we could offer them exactly what they were looking for. So they were extremely happy, uh, worth the journey. That was their, their comment. <laughs> Wonderful. One of my questions was also um, if you had made any very good sales yet. I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to ask this, but the way you s just said right now, it looks like it's also going well for your company here. Yeah, indeed, there are really uh, customers on the show with, uh, with, um, 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 which want to buy, which want to sign contracts and negotiate and sign contracts. Um, uh, well, I can say for Teegarten, we have done the first uh, in the in the in the first two days. Oh, sorry about that. That's very good. Um, but I hope there will be a few more to come, of course. Yeah? The more, the better. Mm -hmm. Coming maybe quickly back to the um, topic of digitalization, do you think that um, these six year, the six-year break and um, yeah, also the progr program Interpac did then, did that change physical fairs in some way? Is there going to be a merge of digital ways to come together and physical ways, do you think? Well, as I, as I said previously, I think um, um, Digital will not replace uh, exhibitions because I, I, I'm still uh, really convinced that um, customers want to touch steel on an exhibition like this. They want to see uh, machines in operation. They want to see them running um, to, be, to be more convinced that the technology they are thinking about is really um, uh, solving their problems. I think the, uh, digital um, advertisement, uh, virtualization, these uh, things can support, but they will not replace, my opinion. Okay, looking into the future, looking um, three years ahead to the next Interpark, if you come and visit us again, what would you like to say as president of the Interpark and as CEO of your company, what changes would you like to see in the industry in three years? Well, I... Okay, let's say let's start with the with the position of the of the president of Interpac. Um, I would, uh, of course, if I'm still president, then I have to be rewarded. So let's see. Um, but um, um, at the, as the president, I would probably uh, say um, 
um, that we are um, again uh, the show uh, which shows most of the innovations available three years later then, um, which makes it worth for customers worldwide to make the long way to Düsseldorf, travel here and, 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 and see and find solutions they really need and which, uh, which um, help them for the future. Um, well, as, as uh, the CEO of my company, um, um, I would be happy to show further new uh, developments uh, for our customers, uh, um, new technology steps um, we are working on. Um, and that is uh, actually what we have done um, over the last 50 years. Um, every three years, which is a, is, a, is a good time frame for an innovation cycle, um, we, we try to sh uh, show something, something new, something more advanced not only faster, but also more efficient, more easy to use for the operators and these sort of things. And uh, no, I would be happy if, uh, if I could uh, um, um, call it a, a success in, in 2026, yes. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Maybe one last question. Why should people come and visit you and Tegarten Parktech at your booth? Well, if you are, if you are interested in, in, in wrapping of small sized items, um, I'm quite confident to say that uh, we probably offer uh, the finest technology, the, the fastest uh, machines uh, um, in the world, the most efficient machines in the world. And um, yeah, I, I can say probably even our competitors would admit that this is, uh, is, is right uh, to say. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming here and chatting with us and giving us, us those insights into, well, your two functions and yeah, thank you very much. Thank, thank you for having me. Everything. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.